Hello, I'm finally getting to a project that I have not finished. Um, I've already shared a picture of it on Instagram. I totally staged it to look like it was done because I didn't have time to get it done before I like posted it for this uh, DIY group thing I was doing. So I just totally staged it, half-assed it, and now I'm going to actually get it done. If I'm a little echoey, obviously I'm in my master bathroom. That is why. But here's the project. These little guys. We never put towels on this towel bar. And even though I love DIY stuff, I'm not about to take this down and have to deal with the holes and then repainting. Uh, no. Mm -mm. So instead, I turned it into this. Got some little hooks, some little tin cans, and these greenery stems from Hobby Lobby. So the hooks, I actually have no idea where I got those. I just had them, um, and I just colored them with a gold Sharpie. The tin cans were used to be pink and have like a floral print on them, and I got those from Dollar Tree, and I spray painted them like a hammered bronze. And then, like I said, these little guys were just from home or home goods, Hobby Lobby, and they're originally straight little boxwood stems. I actually have the same boxwood stems over there, um, but I just staged them for the picture. I just folded them in half and stuck them in there. But they just they I mean, look at it. It looks like I did a crappy job because I did. I just threw them in there and. Took a, took a picture. Okay, so here's the plan. We've got our little tin buckets. I kept calling them tin cans, I think, but tin buckets. I have green styrofoam balls. They're a little too big, so I'm gonna have to cut them down a little bit so they fit down in there. And I have boxwood stems. I'm going to cut this thick part off, the thick end, so then I have individual little pieces, and I will stick those into the styrofoam. But before I do that, I think I'm going to take some of this leftover Spanish moss that I have. Looks like this. Spanish moss, I got this at Walmart. I don't even remember, like $4. I think these little balls, they were a two pack each for like two bucks. Boxwood stems, probably less than $2. I don't remember. I bought all this stuff a while ago and I just, am su like, I'm super good at procrastinating. So here I am <laughs> doing it now. Um, and then I had these little S hooks. I have no idea what I had them from. I just hold on to things like this, I guess. But they were silver and I used just a gold Sharpie, gold metallic Sharpie. So they went from gold or silver to gold. It's kind of, you can't, really, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but they're gold now. So I have those, but I also have, just a, I also got these from Ikea the last time I went. They are these gold hooks. The problem is with these, um, they're a lot bigger and they're kind of really chunky looking and I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Um, I kind of like just the simplicity of those and they'll be easily hidden behind the greens whereas these, I don't know if they'll I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to play with those when I actually put them on. So that is what I am doing. I'm going to shave down these styrofoam balls to get them to fit. Here we go. These little things are strong. My goodness. Okay. So there's that. I think I'm just gonna go like this. So cut it up. I cut them in half and they kind of just fit in there. So I think I'll just shove it down a little bit. 
so you can't see it. Like that. Okay. We'll try that out. And then, so I actually don't, I won't need all three. That's cool because I can use those for a different product, 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 project. I can use those for a different project. I'm all over the place. That's welcome, welcome to my mind. Okay. Put this other one in here. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave a tiny little lip because I'm gonna put that uh, Spanish moss on top. Okay, so I got the styrofoam in each little bucket and now I'm gonna do the Spanish moss. Another thing I forgot to mention you might need is a glue gun. These are super cheap, like four bucks at the craft store. And I'm just going to put top glue on here and then the Spanish moss. Okay, so I have the Spanish moss glued in just over that. Any little pieces that are hanging out like this, I'm just going to trim it just so it's not like spilling out. And also any little hot glue strings take those out. Okay, so I got these separated from the individual little, whoopsie. <laughs> so they're now individual little pieces. Now I'm gonna stick the little stems in. This is kind of just a little what it looks like. Um, I do get the floral stems that have wire in them, so then you can just kind of fluff them out however you want them to look. And then I guess it won't really matter with the hooks because maybe the greenery will hide it. I don't know. We'll play around with that in a little bit. But let's get those other two done. All right. So here they are, all three of them in their little buckets. Um... By all means, they are not perfect, but they're pretty cute. And they're exactly what I was hoping for, so that's a plus. Uh, didn't really run into any s snags at all, which is awesome. You gotta love a good DIY project that doesn't give you problems, right? I don't know. But also, can wouldn't these just be cute by themselves sitting up somewhere? Super simple. You can do it, DIY stuff yourself. It's so easy. A lot of the time it turns out pretty dang good and cute. So have faith in yourself, do it yourself. Let's get these hung up. Okay, so I'm in my master bathroom, I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because my daughter's sleeping right in my room. But I wanna show you guys something. Um, I'm not going to use these because even when you put it on and you hang this, the gold is really noticeable and I don't, all of the finishes in my bathroom are this bronze color. So I feel like it just sticks out too much. So I'm going to stick with these little S hooks that I paint or not painted, um, marker painted, Sharpie painted gold. Um, but here's the next thing. When you just put the gold hook on there like this, and then you hang it, it turns side to side because this moves. But if you take a little pair of pliers and you pinch, if you pinch these, like, here I'll show you. Put them on like this and pinch it together, it's not going to be able to come off, but it also doesn't turn side to side. Okay, so this is just a silver one. So I'm going to take this one off. Maybe. Okay. And I'm going to tighten this one on. Okay. 
then I'll turn. So I can still move it. Super simple. I'm really proud of myself. I love when stuff like this just comes together so perfectly. What do you guys think?